Prince has taken out Frozen. Wow, that's punish for us and punishment for the boys of NIP as they catch a nade in response. But this man advantage will still be held and that tightest of lines pre-fire device has come into Inferno looking refreshed. Two quick kills out of his pistol has given them a huge leg up in this one. And it'd be very hard to trip over your shoelaces here if you play this right. We do have Rushley gracing us with his observing goodness today. So Acor, I don't know if it was the bomb he spotted, but Linus and Plopsky were both there and they've been allowed to wrap. Look at that, such a passive hold from Brops and Bemis has led to a full isolation of the only B defender. Yeah, well that's it. This one should be done, right? Rops and Bemis would have to go around the world against five and they're still walking in. Look how patient NIP are taking this. They're not rushing the issue, clearing this one out, keeping their sleeper of the wrap undercover. But they will be picking this one up. And the smoke towards CT spawn, I think, just secures that. So Linus will be planting 40 seconds on the clock here. And for BMAS and ROPS, it's about either getting exit kills to get extra cash or keeping on their armor without taking any damage so they can upgrade to head armor for free in the next round. Or maybe they don't want head armor. Maybe they want a couple of extra bits and bobs along their side. Plopsky tasked with trying to find them. Same with Rez and Hampus are already clearing out A. So this one here, they are actually trying to hunt these away. They don't want to give any legs up for Mouse Sports into the second round of play here. And this is NIP's second pistol, I do believe. Oh, that's a good point. They've got one on Vertigo. This one will hold a whole lot more weight. Oh, not clearing. Oh, having a look. They know where you are. Don't forget, Rops would love to keep that 100 Kev. It's a like hide and seek. Yeah, and he has managed to do so. Oh, oh he hit him. 94. He hit him. <laughs> it went down to 94. <laughs> Well, that's a small loss in itself, but of course, NIP will be able to convey that information. Hampus has hit one last little bullet. And this is how the first one came about. Crosshair just waiting for it in the drive-by. This second shot really did seal the deal. Bang! One Whoa. bullet, all that connected, but it does stop the extra helmet. He goes for the scout instead. Two scouts, and neither of them for Acor here, so that one's curious. One for Dexter, one for Rops, and they're actually aggressive, wanting to find some tags here early. Throw NIP for a bit of a spin, and that's one way to kick it off. Rops, a big shot on Therese here. Ooh, and that's Dexter's shot, taking a chunk out of Hampus as well. The scouts, mission accomplished. Oh, oh more tags. Get out of here. Oh, God. Their limbs are barely hanging on. Safe? <laughs> <laughs> I mean, you're not far off. <laughs> if they lose another one, Chad, it's probably the best course of action. Two almost dead. A third oh. softened up. All right. Uh, give it a go, NIP, I suppose. But you're about to give over a lot of rifles right here if you don't convert this one. Mouseports with such a good denial if they can convert this. It's almost better than... Winning the pistol, if you can take this and take all those AKs for free. AKs, don't know why I'm pluralizing for dramatic effect. But there's another. Dexter will finish the job he started onto Plopsky. And Acor boosted up, does go down, but will they clear? Linus, Linus, oh, he does. He's doing it all. Head He's on a only one with full HP. He's just taking all three. Yeah, but now they know where they both are. The scout from Rops has filled the feed and it was through his teammate Bemis. Both coming in from Banana Side and a full sack of util as well. Maybe we can see Smoke that. Look at a Molly. Smoke and Molly use. Beamers could drop this towards the position. Device is not ready for this. He's going to have to reposition as the fight comes in from Rops. Linus could have to do it all here. He's hiding behind the pillar. Device force forward by the flames. He lives on though. Tucked in on the second. That's the oh. jewel. Linus has got all four. And he's saved an IP from a pantsing. That was supposed to be a mouse sports conversion of all that early damage, but courtesy of LNZ, NIP will make it too. That's huge, right? What he's done right there is massive. We were talking about, and I was joking about it, but the fact that they were softened up and they're in low HP, mouse sports were in the power position. Mouse sports were favored to win that round after these early exchanges. Robs does this. Bang. See you later. You light your head? He does too. And then Linus strolling on in, just being able to isolate all these fights. Diligent on his clear here as well. A lot of players they'll get to and maybe leave it, but the third is insane. And at this point here, the little attempt from Rops and Bemis, you like it. You know, you know what they're going for. You you summarize that quite well, but denied. And NIP, stay alive here. 2 0. Acor's turn. Fool me once, I think. Mm, yeah, need to do, push them off. They have boosted here, so device is vulnerable if he does quietly 
expose himself. <laughs> Realize how that sounds. And just a warning shot. Quick reactions. It did tag him up, so... They're chipping them away here, Mouse Sports. Clamp down on mid now. Oh my god, they just continue to find the accuracy. <laughs> he actually gets them both. And there's one from Robs' Deeg as well. Again, NIP conceding these openers. Great nade in response. Beamus and Robs both caught that, but it's Acor who still wants to force the issue. He knows where you are and they might send a Deagle after you. Bailing him out of trouble is Hampus. Doesn't have the bullets for this. He's lost his teammate now. Oh, even less this time. Device catching Frozen will at least give them the plant. Well, we needed Device. We had him on the pistol. He's been a little bit missing in the last couple of maps. If he can combine with Hampus right now and they can keep NIP above water for one more time, they'll be very, very thankful. Couple of flashes. Maybe Hampus can flash above Device on contact. That's if Hampus deals with this threat from the construction. Rops is down. Okay, threat neutralized. Device. Playing the off angle and will catch Dexter's walk up. So now only the armored Acor. And time getting a bit sensitive. They're on the way out. He'd love to take a rifle away from them on the way out. Really, Device? Uh, I think we can see you, Mr. Acor. Your uh, long scouty barrel. Very, very visible. Device does keep them in it. Uh, that's great. We've had back to back rounds one from Linus, one from Device, where they have the necessary kills to avoid losing the pistols. Now, I know that doesn't sound like a lot, but when you consider how map number one went, right, and Mouse Sports were on the receiving end of losing three anti ecos, if NIP find themselves in a similar situation and they lose 16 to 13 or something of the sorts, they're going to get a taste of their own medicine. But they've been able to keep their head above water. Yeah, but I mean, the water's been pretty close to swallowing them at times. My God, Mouse Sports have made a very competitive three out of this one, but looks like Device. Using that T-side orb immediately to ply his trade. He's got a kill and a half there, and Frozen catches a second. The nade brings him down to just five. As a B defender, you can't be left a solo on the site with a health like that. It feels to me like Dexter's going to have to go for a gamble call here and potentially even go play over towards A with his teammates. Now, he still has on his belt a smoke, so maybe he'll hang around top banana until he feels threatened, drop that. And then that's where you made the decision. Do I gamble A? Have I done enough to scare them to the other side of the map? Or should I stay here at B and put up my best fight? Frozen opting now to tuck on in towards this graveyard position. He's going to be a sleeper, right? You're going to see BMAS and Rops taking contact first. And then Frozen's going to peek up his head on that low HP and see what he can do. And he's about to get an offering here from NIP. Here comes the parade. Swedish by design. Dry. Nice. Yeah, completely dry, but they actually got hit two of the three. They only have to get past Rops, and yeah, he's been kept very honest. Wow. That worked so well. Was there even a flash, Chad? I just think there was the Moto smoke and they just went, right? To go four players, <laughs> basically contact out of the smallest choke point into the bomb site is insane, but that's profit. That is money right there. Uh, yeah, and I guess now you see it, you think about it, when you're at this level of Counter-Strike, no one does it, right? No one goes Very out about dry. Yeah. So, of course, the pit player isn't in the position to punish because he's ready. He's staring at the floorboards with a smoke in his hand because that's usually step one. This could be one of the problems right now if you are mouse sports. If Hampus is making calls like that and making plays like that, he, he might be able to individually find those gaps, right? I know that was a, as a team-based oh, call he's lost right it there. Too. Should be dead in the back yet. Yeah, it doesn't hear it at all. Easy one. Hampus even gets a second shot. So, lovely jubblies right there. And they already have that AWP on device. So they don't need to pick up another. And this is how it kicked off. Device just on his own. Hey, boys, I'm going to go find us a pick banana. Don't you worry about that. Next minute, at apartments, they trundle. And yeah, you can see the smoke hasn't even hit the ground before the initial two kills come in. So that was just a contact play. Just pop on out and get yourself your fourth round here. NIP looking schmick. Schmick and span, as the expression goes. Well, they've been threatening on these Deagle and Scout rounds. Let's see if they can do it again. Up close mid with a couple of HEs. Hampus, I need to walk into the den here, and that feels very scary, doesn't it? Close up mid crossfire without a flash. They could be rumbled. Don't worry about the flash. Beamass ahead, uses the sound cue, gets himself an opener, and NIP under the pump against the pistols again. I, I, don't know, I, I don't know how Threat has any hair left. Like, <laughs> how has the dude got a full head of hair when he has to try and keep a cool head watching rounds like this on the daily? NIP, they've 
they've made the first three up against Deagles and Scouts, and of course the pistol's a bit bumpy. This one again looks threatening. And Beamer's given an opportunity. He oh. will seize it. Rez swinging out for the punish. He anticipates it perfectly. Huge. And Beamer's is doing it all on his own. Anybody else fancy their chances up against this man's Deeg? Hasn't even reloaded yet. No need. He'll just get another headshot for free. No, back away. AK to play. And three fires for the finish. Oh, it's been stolen from him by Linus. Nearly the ace. Just a magnificent sequence out of Bemis. And you can see, I mean, the round has been handed to Mouse in a silver platter. Instead of victory now, Linus just considering his options for s to save. He'd have loved to have not let those weapons fall into enemy hands, but Bemis has killed so many people in such close proximity, there should be plenty. And there's another one now. Rops has taken his head off, and we'll see at least two AKs preserved. Yeah, would have loved that save right there. I meant Plopsky could have had a gun as well. So NIP will be threatening and they can continue to have another buy here, but you're already seeing the ramifications of these close scenarios here. And this is fantastic from Bemis. This is what you want. Just pouncing on that reaction in mid and standing his ground, not letting him take that space away from him. Thinking on his toes as well, gets the AK and almost gets the bloody ace. That would have been a great round there for Bemis. All right, well, Plopsky into a Galil. Working on this second mid control, Device, Rez, and Linus. Popsky and Hampus dealing with Banana in the mid push right now. And, well, to dissuade any early wind. Oh, it's a pop flash. Do they want to find it again? Yeah, and look what they find. Oh, perfect. Rob, Beamer's partner up to completely smash through the Ninjas in Pajamas setup. That is insane. When do you ever see a mid defense like that? Not for a couple of years. But they know. Oof. Oh, okay, Linus. He's on a couple of clutches. Yeah, and he's just wormed away through that smoke. He's paused within it. Is he hoping to catch the banana flank as it fades? I mean, Frozen's there. They're aware. He's got a full stack of util. He has looked a little clutchy recently. Yeah, he's won a couple of nice ones, especially when it didn't feel like he had any, any chance in those rounds whatsoever. So right now, with the position Dexter's playing, he should be able to get out of the apartments and get this bomb down. Now the question is, where does he plant and where does he consider first? He can smoke off one of these choke points, can molly the other. He's still very worried about a CT lying in wait. Now they're giving him so much room here. Wow, he's been allowed to clear the site completely, dude. So with a full load of util, this 1v4 starting to feel a little threatening. Linus get a great shot onto Wakeor to make it possible. He smokes off long side and is in float. He's clutched from here before and he's getting for the graveyard position. It should enable another headshot. He's only got 20 HP, but he's doing it. One remains. He knows where you are, Frozen. Linus for the hero play, but Frozen denies. Strafes under the crosshair. And a valiant attempt from the rookie for the ninjas there. He's had a couple of really nice clutches and this one just, oh, just what an attempt that was from Linus. If he turns out to be the clutch factor for NIP, I don't think anybody saw that one coming. Yeah, I, I, I would be as surprised as Perfecto being Na'Vi's clutch sure. master. Check this out, though. This is just absolutely wild, that mid-defense. So if you combo what we saw just there with that mid-defense, and then you take a little bit of a look at the way that Mouseports have approached mid with the scouts and the deagles, it's been the same way that they've made it jarring for NIP. NIP are walking up mid like they have so much room. Yeah, it's just assuming it's clear. And Mao's are saying, all right, well, if that's the way you want to play things, we'll fight you. We got some mechanical beasts on our side. Oh, and that was a quick shot. Uh, yeah, kind of feel robbed. Device is now going to have to play the rest of this round barefoot. His shoes have just been blasted into another dimension. Oh. And that's a shame for Rops. <laughs> I don't think you can quite believe that one. Nope, just a stray bullet right to the face. Preemptive deagle bullets, and yeah, I mean, that's something for the ninjas to hold on to. Yeah, both throwing punches, right? Acor shot onto the device was one swing. Reza's uppercut, another, and over towards B they go. So this is an execute where they're looking pretty tidy for this. Both playing spawn at the moment. Frozen's floating. I'm surprised Dexter hasn't got that smoke out, but... He's waiting to play reactionary. It may be disrespected, though. Yeah, they're going regardless. Good flashes. Plopsky does go down to the spray. Where's Dexter the trade, has enough boys? bullets to take two down. No trade available from the ninjas. A boost now, well-timed. 
as they cross in. And Linus caught clearing. Great defensive maneuvers here, but the flank from Device, or rather the Lurk, has paid off. They got the bomb still. They could pivot, eh? And they'll get a lot of space. The rotate was on its way. Dex is going to be the first to re receive them. Will be library side holding that short cross. Does he have it? He does. Missed his shot. Device, chance to plant. Dexter at least confirms his suspicions. Oh, they're planning default as well here. Bomb has been planted. What's the setup? Device gets himself into the bulk, and that's an effective position to at least deal with this Dexter flank. Oh, and he reacts very quickly. Exactly what the doctor ordered. And Rez, maybe not a doctor, he would have to be surgical with these three, and looks away versus Gaze, can't find one. Good play out of Mouse on the retake there, making sure it's safe and sound. Dexter not overcommitting. Dexter did so much, just by the way. He was the first guy on A. He was the only player defending B. <laughs> That's true. Just, just so we can keep a, a, a rough cap on what just happened there. This is, yeah, just taking a blind pot shot. So good stuff there from Rez. Now this is really wide spacing. I understand why you want to have wide spacing through the smoke, so it's not super easy, but it felt like nobody was coming and there was a lot of flashes in the feed that appeared to be team flashes. So maybe a little bit of miscoms there for NIP, but Hampus is in with the hero AK. The rest are up to pistol upgrades here. Let's see if they can keep this interesting. Still have the lead just by one round and hello, Robs wants a fight. Acorn farming, flash assists, and oh, Mouseboards are farming Enough. ninjas. Quick couple of engagements. This Deagle armor buy is left with nothing, and Dexter, despite the vision, is still alive. Finally, he goes down, but one casualty for Mouseboards to close the gap. There is zero complaints from them. And what started looking oh so promising for the ninjas has been responded in kind. Well, I think these last couple kind of tell a bit of a picture, right? NIP in the first four rounds were lucky to get across the line in a lot of those. The pistol round was quite clean because Device got two bangers of openings, but when they were up against the Deagles and the Scouts, it was rough. They required heroic performances to get them on through. We're back into the guns. Hampus, unfortunately, only with a Deagle. Took that AK, didn't get anything done. An A-call, posting down mid. A flash scuttled on through. And that's enough to hold him back as... I think that NIP now need to start respecting this mid corridor, right? They're not able to just be so relaxed about how they're posturing in it. The pop flashes have been potent from Mouse, and here they come again. Oh my god, if Acor was just to clear this, he'd they're have just a sweeping. free frag. Uh-oh, Hampus gets the first. They know the AWP is close. He's forced to stick around. He will just be traded one-on-one. -on -one. Beamus to defend the site solo. The whole squad's coming. 1v3 on A right now for the Beamus man. And can't quite deliver some damage, though. They are bleeding internally. Frozen and Dexter with it all to do. Is that enough, though? Right, like they, They've been mollied. They've been re-smoked. Are they going to give this one a crack? I think with the damage, it's threatening at least, but he's pre-aiming the boost. Look at Rez's angle here. He's actually just looking for the head above the smoke, and he wasn't far off, but... Chad, yeah, your suspicions are backed up by their positioning. And regard to the damage done, it will be ninjas in pajamas pulling together for an A-plant success. Yeah, you can just see that Mouse Wads have a very clear way that they want to approach this, right? Just willing to fight mid. Now, this time, it didn't work. And that's what it looks like when the shoe's on the other foot, right? Both kills going against you. Beamus doing his absolute best there. But if you don't trade, if you don't find the first, right? If Robs gets the first, then he dies. Then Acor gets on. Then he dies. Then, then we're in a two-on-two. -two. Then maybe the likes of Frozen and Dex to go for this. But when you're down a man... It's hard to justify that, especially with the CT-sided economy here. They've held onto their guns. They've made another buy work. Rifles in everybody's hands. Acor back with the AWP and even a defuse kit for Frozen here. Okay. Looks like they're just going to XQP pretty early here, I think, Alex. Look, they've got all this control. They already have three players in Banana. The bomb not far behind in that fifth man of Rez bringing up the rear. It's only going to hold them at bay for about 20 seconds. Ah, the question is, do Mouse Sports go for another one of these mid-clears, or have they already been disparaged from doing that because of the previous outcome? And Plopsky's actually braved the smoke. He's through. They know this is clear. They can just execute and go. You'd think they would. Plopsky likes to be the first man in. On this corner, as soon as that smoke blooms, the flash is in, so is he. 
It's all about Frozen now. He's holding that pit jump up, but Bobsky's well too aware. He came prepared, and now the sight is all ninjas. Oh, good bit of damage found by Dexter. He puts device on notice, but it looks like Mouseport's oh. going to scurry away from this. Yeah, and a great round from NIP. They just changed it up, right? So they were able to buy the respect top mid. There was no more flash and peak. Is anybody home? Oh, Hampus is getting a bit hunty here as well. Look at him, already on the arch side. Huge gap at this moment. Oh, knife out. Oh, he's oh. Just... See you later, a call. Pip the gap. Dead sniper. Irretrievable. Hampus not aware of that library player. Maybe Ooh. Dexter can sneak away. Let's see. Does Hampus want to keep a lid on this? Well, what's a bit more than that? Push it into library. He will go down. Dexter trying to get to the AWP. Uh, yikes. Okay. If Dexter lived there, he could have dropped a rifle. Everyone would have everything. Everyone would have a gun. Uh, he probably actually could have afforded an AWP as well. So, a little bit... Uh, a little bit of an orky Momo, I suppose. Yeah, I mean, you know, the bomb's wants, blowing up. He wants the AWP. He should have, he should have just, yeah. Anyway, hindsight, 2020. It's left Acor with a FAMAS. Yeah, better than nothing, I suppose. They're close mid again, Alex. Maybe they go for another one of these flash stuffs. The, the three players at A are ready to biff. Everyone on Mouse Watts is ready to fight. Counter flash, keeps him honest. Hampus is coming, knock it. Frozen, ooh, just as he gets up on the sandbags. Look Puts at this. The aggression into the mix. Mouse sports continue to punish NIP's mid setup. You try and set anything up around second or mid, you're going to have a late CT push. Look what it's done to them. They're they have forced, to corralled into B. A lovely three on three. Acor is providing support from downtown and they will smoke him off or will they oh he's got a gap to work with as well here they won't find anything from their boost adventure i think they'll re-smoke with linus here so this will fade they can re-smoke and then go and if they can get into the site here they will need to trade in their favor they're gonna need to take out all three and try and keep at least two alive here comes the fight dex is in a powerful off angle but they do isolate the first, and there's Dexter activated. Frozen locks it down, and it is Frozen that st sticks around long enough to confirm a fifth. Gap closing. Hampers a little, well, hampered in the finances, but other than that, it's still tickety-boo for the ninjas. Yeah, so uh, there's been a couple of different showings so far from NIP, right? A lot of their T-side stuff been uh, relatively explosive. Remember the four out apartments just drying towards A, catching Mal's off guard. They had that B executed after they got that banana control. I think right now they need to force back this close mid and this boiler setup because that's such an issue for them at the moment. And again, like Rops is just running into apartments. L look how much room and confidence he has. Like even if you just had a player on the bridge in second mid spamming on through, Rops can't take that space. He can't go for that. But if you're on that bridge, you know, you know there's a precedent set that Acor could be there. Watch this. And that's yeah. dead. Straight away, Linus just pokes his head into the apartments and he's sent packing. Bemis unlikely to lose his life to the res bedroom lurk. It's three CTs here. Res really is borrowed in between the two of them and oh that's the end of him as well you better hit some shots here hampus because the rest of the map has fallen into enemy hands frozen does not convert a new lease of life hampus going aggressive Hello. 13 bullets and a dream a lovely angle over this smoke bomb planted slips off gap held and that's the end of hampus frozen's patience rewarded brave to be dropping the molly there from device partners up with plopsky the molly has found one but now he has to find the remaining two and they got so much util. Beamers can smoke him off. It's not planted for banana. How is he supposed to do this? They don't know he's banana. Oh, they do now. They heard the sound cue. They see the plant. They know it's not for him. And this is just a, a lost round. He just has to accept it. Brutal. Falls nicely into place for Mouse Sports 6. And there it is again. Rops, right? I think knowing that Linus is defaulting there, he is just straight up, I will kill you. They can win the half in quite a convincing fashion. So you've seen here some AKs, some Galils, 
most players with more than 1,500 in the bank balance remaining. With their loss bonus in the next round, they will be able to buy here. So just getting the most out of the spread of rounds that they can. They love to do some more damage than that. Dexter aggressive, Frozen not that far behind him. And up close again, this time it's Bemis locking down Boiler and Holes. And it's just stalled Nip out. They, they can't go anywhere. You can't go banana. You can't push up. You, you're just awaiting right now. And this is a product of the Mouse Sports defense. Lioness is undeterred by his previous battle with Rops. It didn't end well for him. They did wait about 50 seconds <laughs> <laughs> before having a look. <laughs> yeah, Abs is clear. Trying to test Dexter and Frozen. Frozen will have the info. And Are they even clearing? Not sure they will. Oh, they both go down. Dexter <sighs> takes two. Plopsky responding onto him, but mission accomplished. Advantage maintained. Mouse now have a one-man lead. And they have to execute B. God, it's quite dry, quite quick. Plopsky's super far ahead. And Rez still gets the frag, gets the head. Here we go. Oh, Rez. Uh-oh. He's pulled NIP back into contention and then some. If anything, Acor and Bemis may not even be a voice in this one. He'd hope for a stray smoke shot to isolate a 2v2, but not happening. That's ridiculous. That was a three on five. Yep. Next to got two kills immediately. A and then they stomach this round loss. That, not ideal whatsoever. That is a really big loss for Mouse Sports in the context of all this. Remember, I spoke about the loss bonus, where it was at, where the money situation is at for Mouse Sports. They just put all their pennies in. Yeah, and for NIP, it was a managed buy, right? They were going to be buying in the next round, regardless of what happens here. So now they're going to be buying even more so. This is great from Dexter. He gets a double up, right? The, the swing out as he's being cleared. It's a perfect little lineup there, but Rez, only with two kills before this round gets underway, walks away with a double up, gets up to four. So his impact being felt in a big way. And I was about to be talking about how this CT hold from Mouse Sports, it feels like they're choking NIP out, right? They're just suffocating them across the map. They're taking away a lot of room that they'd traditionally be getting. But now NIP, they're really in a great spot. Their, their buy looks great, right? For Rez, Linus, and Device going into the next round, which will be the last round to play, they're all going to have residual cash anyway. They can take this away from Mouse Sports now, and NIP can win this half 9 6. It's a, it's a change up here as well. Hey, cool. Cool. Yeah, careful with that one. L look at this play over towards A right now. They're, they're going through holes with four of them. And this time, Rops, with only his Desert Eagle, doesn't have any smoke to hold them at bay. Take some confidence to walk so cavalier up the apartments and all their rifles. Rob's oh, the Rob Steagle close range. I mean, Here we this go. is the Here counter to the, to the dry balk. If you do try a dry balk, even Device is going to get pushed by Devi Dexter as soon as he pulls this pin. Dexter's coming behind you. And Rob's is only good for the one on the balk. The flank from Dexter's not really got much to report either. Beam is to be cleared by that pit player. Rez is on his way across. Oh, and Dexter spots out Hampus, executes Hampus, and Bemis activated as well. Punishing now. Device's util usage is very good. Double molly to at least buy time to post up. Try and find one. Oh, aggressive. It was Bemis, and it's enough to feel fine. The round, Mouse Sports recover. And it's courtesy of Bemis. He's had two multi-kill pop-offs upon the fast A plays. They just contain them to pit there, right? Like, it's really good if you can get pit control on the T side, but if you only have pit control on the T side, that's exactly where they want you. This was really good by Dexter. That push confirming a lot of the information that they needed, able to lock down any late hit plays, and then Bemis has had a great time. So they have pretty good Ancient. They didn't pick it up, yep. but had a pretty good Ancient. And he had uh, an earlier round here on this CT half. Remember with the Deagle where he got four, They're doing almost it again. the ace. They're doing it again. Flash from Acor. No one's going to be home this time. And he's not at the same capacity. Hamper's more passive from... Tunnel. Okay, now the counter flash. And eliminating device immediately. What was that? He's just gone. And Rox has finished off Hampus as well. This mid-round aggression again nets them an advantage. Coming into the orb. Acor does go down, but this is a powerful angle from Rops. Just playing under the balcony, you catch you as you leap. Rez is his first, and Plopsky is final half. And as discussed, we've got the double dually setup. So Device and Rez given armored dual berettas. And I they're both holding A. 
I'm intrigued to see how this one works out. I'm very curious about this. Very, very curious. Watch them do nothing and suck for a retake. Uh, it's just, it's, it's different. Uh, maybe it pays off. Yeah, or, or maybe it doesn't. A single Glock bullet to the head would make all of that money be for naught. There we go. There you go. We're being sold. Yeah, that was all it took, actually, was it, Chad? Well, we need a couple more. Okay. But combined, they've already got a kill. Oh, a very deep one from Linus. Underhands his smoke and takes the fight in pool. He's managed to isolate a duel. One slip through. And they're actually cancelling that, but they've parked Froze in here, and I don't think Linus is going to be anticipating this one, but from behind, oh, Red is going to lose his life. Now that's a cancel from both ends, and Acor's got a very messy one to piece together again. But look how good the Julies are here, Alex. Watch this. Watch Acor wield them against them with supreme force and accuracy. 30 bullets and a dream. And he only needs one to finish off Linus, but the bomb's being planted, and Linus has a kit, so... Might want to wait for his squad. And I believe. Believe. Acor going to keep darting in and out of this angle and fires off a warning shot. Couple, in fact. And Linus drawing the crosshair as best he can, looking to slow down the roll of Acor. And it will just be the one. You didn't believe hard enough. I wasn't, was I? I wasn't ramping at all. I was believing. But the jewel is retained. And that is the main storyline here. How long? Will they maintain the Julies, the greatest pistol in Counter-Strike history? Watch them not bother upgrading and just go arm and uh, Julies into the second. Oh, no. Right. No, no. They're not that brave. Well, Acor's been able to get an AK-47 in his hands here, everybody. So this one here might have a couple more stories as we do tie things up 8-8, and this is a playoffs game. Can we address that pistol a little bit more as well? Sure. So... <laughs> Was the fact that Linus did that slightly deeper smoke and Plopsky got nothing through it, or whoever was the jump through it, excuse me, from Frozen. Spot, frozen, got nothing for it. Was it? Was that enough to repel them out of Banana and lead to that? I think they called a cancel because he got space and they were just going to pause and wait, but then okay. as soon as he's denied, it was just seeing what came their way, which was a plant, right? And because of that plant, they've been able to get two Galils and AK, a Mac-10 and a Deagle. So not too shabby, all things considered. Rop 17 kills to his name, and I'm sure after their antics up middle. They'd love to have a little bit of a look in again. So Rops is on his lonesome. The other four are kept together in a bit of a wolf pack. And it does look like late banana control is on the docket. So they're going to get this for free here. Now, it just depends on how much mouse bots want to throw behind this, right? They can do a half wall flash. But they just don't need to. And they don't know that right now. So creeping on up. Frozen leading the charge. Boost just to be safe. And now they can just set up for a BX cute. They've got a smoke for Coffins, one for CT, a Molly there for New Box, maybe Dark, mid control now for Hampus, and Device and Rez are both rotating on over. So yeah. right now, NIP know exactly what's going on. Hampus just needs to play to contain. You want them to finish B. Don't give them an option to go back towards A. That's the last thing you want to do. Yeah, and he's actually letting them throw their util. He finishes off rocks, and that's going to propel them forward through the flames, once across. And now Hampus is dead too. They can fall back Yeah, now. there's one underneath you there, Oh, they're Hampus. committing. There's the commit. That's what he was waiting for. He does eliminate at least one. God, he's not far off. Onto Frozen as well. These SMGs, they could do dirty oh. damage. They do. <laughs> Look at the health chart. They had three points of it between the two of them. That is so close. And oh. Mouse have absolutely no idea. Bloody hell, that really is the finest margin. You put the first three rounds of the game, and then you put these next two. They've been very, very close. These have been so close. Like NIP, if you guys didn't get the first half, Linus saved them, then Device did. And that was in the anti-ecos. And now here, with the anti-eco of their own, it gets so close. How does he get two more with two HP? That's Jeez. Mad. Just wow. darting around. Okay, well, the Deagles are out. Hampus has only got a USP here. What more do you need, Chad, to peak window? Oh, he's kind of been hard done by there with body shots. 10 HP left on the A core. Hampus going to stick around. I guess it makes sense if you're the only one in a forward position. Just don't want to be giving him an upgrade if he do go down. There is a gap behind him right now. Uh, so maybe he's expected to be cleared because here comes BMAS. He is coming through the apartments. He does have a deagle in hand. This is territory that he knows quite well. You remember from the first half. He's going to get nothing for his troubles. So NIP, the first to reach double digits here. Ten for them. Now, this is where the game really begins. The full buy is about to come in for both squads. 
Acor can go for an AWP if he wants, has the money to do so. He's just going to leave him shy in a couple of other departments here. About 10 seconds left until freeze time has concluded. And you can see there's just a couple of emissions, right? Acor into the AWP. He's gone with Kevlar, no head armor. Only has a flash. Rops with a smoke and a flash. Dexter smoking two flashes. So you can see Molly's missing, HE's missing. That's going to make conditioning a little bit more difficult. Frozen tasked with holding off this banana aggression and a nice made out the window there. Won't find anybody because you can see if you look at the radar on the top left of your screen just how tight Mouse Sports are playing this. Still very passive across the map. Now right now this is telling of two things. One, they want to allow NIP's early util to dissipate. The other is maybe, just maybe, they want to pop on in for a banana take here after these smokes fade. It will just be Linus going for the jump peak and Acor being the individual to pick this, it's one of the best weapons, if not the best weapon for the job. He might be able to pluck old boy Linus out of the air here. And he was spotting for it, so there you go. Just a little glimpse is enough to send Linus all the way back into the site. Keep Plopsky on that leash of staying over towards the B-bomb site. And now they can start working on this A mid-control. They're up, they're flashed on through. And Mouse Sports have got the space they're looking for. You can see they haven't had to see anybody, right? But they've forced the rotations around here. And NIP have actually gambled that this will be a B finish. Hampus, he's going to join the crew over towards the second letter of the alphabet as Mouse Sports look like they are destined to finish on that site. Smokes in hand. One for CT, one for Coffins, and Molly in a few flashes. This is a big round. Hampus, he's second guessing himself, but confirmed now as the util is dumped. Plotsky's boosted up. You'd expect to see some impact here and playing with him. What is that? Hampus pushing the smoke. Plotsky combines for three. And it's LNZ unchecked. What man is Rob's coming to looking to come up clutch? He has to plant. He has to plant now. He's faked oh. it. What? He won't get the frags he's looking for. And that's an 11 for the ninjas. That has the, some kills to come in, but consolation prize for Rob's. I think he suspected they were both close. Yeah, I, I, in those situations, especially with where your team's money at, I know it means you could win the round, but your team could have had a buy with the bomb going down. So self-preservation there, higher on Rops' list, expecting them to uh, keep the aggression coming his way. So he had plenty of time to plant. He had plenty of time to plant here and almost picks up the round. But... Uh, Unfortunately, by not getting that bomb down, it means that Mal Sports will have to go with a saved AK and some light upgrades around it. Ooh. Whereas otherwise, they could have probably had four AKs. So little details here, but this is NIP's chance to grab their 12. That plant cancel could be haunting them. Certainly. Only the one rifle now to contend with as a product of that. Hampus hanging out in mid. Fires off a warning shot and will tuck into a more, more passive and conservative setup. It's going to be a waterfall at apps here. So action on Hampus and Device Crossfire. Yeah, and Hampus is in such a good position for this. He's been flashed off and Device as well. Luck the leaping Beamers oh, out of the right. air. And doesn't matter about the flash. Hampus and Device have done it all. A clean one as well. A clean one as well. After just stomaching everybody going down to Rop saving that AK, everybody's staying alive in the next round. It's almost like that's water off a duck's back, right? Because they keep all their guns. They get the buffer of the round win bonus. And they set themselves up with a bit of residual cash going into what will be the next round of play where their loss bonus is only 1400 So as far as the economy is set, NIP are in a pretty good position right now. We would assume if they lose a site, we're likely to see a save. Mouse Sports, on the other side of things, they are Ruji Waits for the winner of this game, by the way. So they're watching on, seeing uh, how these teams go through their paces. I'd love to see one of them pick Ancient against OG in that series. Oh yeah, definitely. And that's the end of Frozen. His adventure cut short immediately as he mantles up on those logs and... Oh, a cat caught nade for Acor as he tries to replace him. Demas tagged down, Rez caught. Very uncharacteristic of him there, just... Wasn't expecting the peek out of Rops up mid. So his smoke goes down from his cold fingers and they're actually in quite a threatening position here on A. Tampus is isolated, he has to stay. Yeah, but... He'd be hoping for prayers. Toes do stick out, but he strikes oh, for two again. The impact of NIP's leader. Oh, oh nearly more. The Tech Nine ch chips away at what, le what little remains of Bemis' health. Bomb now retrieved. Plopsky? Plopsky? Yeah, I'm not sure about that one. Not sure about that one at all, mate. 
Bemis is in A, but the bomb has to get there too. Safe passages through the apps. That's what Acorns is working on now. Couple of weird deaths from the ninjas in this one. Rez and Plopsky caught as if the information wasn't there. So they should get the plant down. Unless he goes for a default, I mean, he will, should he be, be able to stop this, accounting for this. Oh my god, this could be huge. Like, Acorns just come through this position. He's not going to clear it now. Yeah, he's into the sight. Linus' timing could not be better. He's caught such a dream timing here. Oh my lord. That's the denial. That should be the denial. Takes Bemis. He knows the last was planting on the site. A flash not bad, but Acor has to come up clutch here. Knows they're up against the Orpa. Device is crawling in behind him and baits the shot. Oh, Linus doesn't even need the help. He's done it all there, and another impactful round out of NIP's rookie. Yeah, good stuff from Linus there. Just a nice little maneuver, getting himself up close and personal in those apartments, and the timing for him was great, right? He's really just found that window, threaded the needle, and that's 13 now for NIP. This was uh, the opener right here. You can see Device is peaking exactly for that. His crosshair is above the half wall, exactly where Logs is, ready for the tendency of Frozen right there. Hampus bows them out though. Without this double kill, the round is super confusing anyway because Plopsky's just walking across mid. Acor can't believe his luck. He he's luck. He's dead to do a double take. A true counter strike double take. Wait, what? And then it was Linus, right, with that really good positioning and Mitha here on a hope and a prayer, hoping that his team can get something because still blanked on this T side. Now six on the trot, NIP. Battling on through. And a close mid stack as Hampus boosted on up. Res to support. And they're coming through. Hampus, no vision. Does hold on. Holding on. He's boosted up and again. Finding two from the mid hold. That stops Mouse Sports from running away with it. The rotate is so fierce and the bomb still T-steps. I think they want to see what Acorn can find, but... Found everything. He finds the whole squad. And now Falk as well, still an issue. Device now keeps them even more on as Frozen can catapult himself into a 1v2 with loads of time to reposition off the back of this. Yeah, this is a very winnable 1v2 for Frozen right now. He's going to get the bomb down uh, while NIP is still functioning. Okay. So, the close clear, at least now he knows that he has lots of room, right? He knows that the site is empty, but he's playing very passively. And with the util that is left over for NIP right now and device getting into an AK, if they use their nades here, right, they can get a coffin smoke in play. They can molly towards yeah. back of the site. They can flash. Frozen's going to have to hit some bangers. They're not slowing down just yet. I think Linus is going back to line up his Molotov for coffins, interestingly enough. And oh, they caught a glimpse. Frozen's power is lost. And oh my God, strafes out for a quick headshot. But that's going to be another one. Just in the nick of time on the defuse. Trading off of one another. And NIP stay spotless on this defense. Oof. This has looked like the best, obviously, with the scoreline here. But for NIP, like of individual, yeah. if you think about that, they, they weren't grouped up. They didn't play that mid round together by any means. And NIP are punishing that. Now, they're being kept honest. These have been close rounds. So just one is needed from Mouse Sports here to humble the CT side. Not committing anything to Banana early here. And NIP with three waiting. It's the right call for Mouse. They don't know that. They're working on this mid control here. Rez and Hampus to lock down A again. Mid smoked off. Porch side flashed. Mid control taken. Counter utility in return here. Now, are they going to go for another little gimmicky play here through that arch side smoke? It will all come down to timing, and nobody from NIP from the B defense has winced. They are staying three strong on the B site here. And there's so many unknowns. Arch, mid to B, it's all a problem. And Linus is just playing such a crazy angle. Can't believe their stubbornness might actually be rewarded here. Yeah, because, right... Oh, maybe not. The bomb's going back up mid here. We've got 40... Yeah. This, indicate, this indicates a commitment. So, Rez and Hampus, if you've got it in you, it's up to them to keep the NIP record completely untarnished. They're it's going a for wrap. a long wrap. Rez and Hampus aware of the potential. And he, ooh, just has been spotted out on the entry. Still allowed to activate. He's got one, and he lives on for a second. Oh, and a third. No, Rez! <laughs> you can't do him like that. 
It's only one man there in that mini pit and he takes four of them. Not a single response from Mouse and call this one done, Chad, because that's a perfect CT side from the Ninjas for 15. Oh, they've gambled the other side and Rez just does this. I don't think a single one of these were a headshot. Right, he's just mowing them down for a range. Getting the dinks, getting the body shots in and just mowing them down. They, they felt like there wasn't any contest whatsoever. There was no mollies. They didn't have the money for the Utah. Now they got the money for nothing. No plant, Galils, one AK. A Deagle here, NIP should be closing this one out. Okay, Bemis with the Hail Mary, and it's not even been successful. Both of them dip away. Very battered and bruised. Liner's gonna have to try and find value in his Uted in a more passive stance, but again, opening Franco's NIP's way, and they're looking to completely run away with an 8-0, make it 9-0 finish. Frozen's not interested in that. There is still a B defender here, and Hampus has been called upon. Oh, interesting. The fact he's dumping his util and spraying, almost implying that it's no one on the site. Oh, and he's going to smoke off top and under as well here. So locked out of B. And Rez, he hasn't moved from pit this entire time. If Mouse Sports pivot back over towards the A site, Rez is still fortified here. He is ready for any kind of an explosion. 40 HP on Dexter and Frozen. Rops is the only healthy member here. And the util, well, it's a smoke a Flash and a Molotov. They're operating with nothing and now they're operating with less. Hampus with all the info, they know it's going to be the A finish. This is surely done. Don't catch him with their backs turned and he has both of them. Takes down Frozen. Rops was there as well. Slowed down now by the Hampus push and he's rightfully passive and striking as Rops gives up. Brutal. The timing on Hampus, the impact his frags have caused. Not to be dismissed, and this will be the perfect finish. A spotless...